Hi guys, hope you're doing well. I just arrived in Port Leash and I will leave the way you write this uh, town. Um, it's a bit different than the way you pronounce it, but you pronounce it as Port Leash. Again, if I do something wrong, you're very welcome to, to correct me in the comments. I thought that after work I can drive to Port Leash and just have a look around, see how this town feels. It seems to be a pretty small town. It's about a one hour drive from Dublin. And yeah, it's not too far away. It was even like 15 minutes drive, not even one hour. So it was very nice, very enjoyable drive. And now I'm going to grab myself something to eat. And then I'm gonna go have a walk around and see how Port Leash feels found some parking i hope it's free so yeah cool let's go and let's see what's happening you see it's very dark it's about eight o'clock right now so i need to manage to quickly walk around as long as it's still kind of bright <laughs> i can see loads of fast food places people seem to be very very calm on the roads <laughs> it's me you know coming from dublin being very very fast trying to go to places fast um, and everyone seems to be very quiet here. Okay, so I need to cross the road. Let's go. Perfect. So let's keep walking. I tried to look on the map, but I cannot find many historic places in Port Leash. Again, if you live here and if you can suggest us something, I'd be very happy, but yeah, I will try to just simply walk around and see what's, what's here. Perfect, so I found a few things about history they seem to be a lot wow very unexpected so yeah probably you'll be able to see plenty of things the most important thing is that I need to understand where I am right now it usually says you are here on the maps but I can't see where I am so I will need to check on Google Maps it's uh, nine o'clock you can look behind me and you can see people sitting on the tables it's nice to see that not everything is closing that early like for example um, my nook was lovely as well he wasn't closing very early so yeah you can see there people are having some fun I'm just uh, filming filming myself but actually I'm filming them just to show you uh, so yeah I would not like to live in a place where everything closes like at six o'clock so it's nice to see that it is a Tuesday today uh, it's nine o'clock and there is a place which is open so let's have a look at the housing prices so this one is 180,000 euro seems to be pretty fine this one is a bit seems to be a bit older 140,000 euro Oh, this one is nicer, 300,000 euro. What can I say? I can see that the houses are much nicer than, for example, in Carlo. In Carlo, everything is not, doesn't look <laughs> this nice. Or maybe these guys, these guys can take much better photos. I don't know. This one is 400,000 euro, but looks like you're located somewhere on the um, on the hill. And no one is. Oh, sorry. You're fine, but you're Surround fine. you. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just move. So yeah, this one is nice. Okay. Oh wow, like this is luxurious probably. I don't know how much it is, but seems to, I'd say it's very expensive. Okay guys, so I can see that there are more Port Leash vibes. Oh, I see more people, more, more places which are open. So this is actually quite nice. I was not expecting such a nightlife <laughs> in this place, honestly. Pretty cool. 
seems to be lovely here in Fort Leash. Um, I'm sorry, but you have no choice. You have to look at me in this quality because it's night right now. And uh, it seems to be a lovely town. Mm, not too small, not too big. Yes, like for example, Carlo would be like too small and too old and the house is like really, really small. Um, if I talk about Mullingar, Mullingar would be much nicer, much, much bigger. So yeah, and this one seems to be like a medium town, seems to be lovely. Um, it does not have like a big river, looks like there is somewhere like a small river, but generally it seems to be okay. So yeah, um, something in the middle, not too bad but not a very, very, very big place. I'm sorry for the change in the things I say. It's not that I don't notice. To me, it's still the same. If I don't show a sign, I'm leaving my love blind. So guys, I allowed myself some McDonald's and look at my dinner, look at the view, lovely. This is the Mullingar Park and it's very very quiet and small but perfect place for children, loads of playgrounds. So if you have children, probably Mullingar would be a good place for you. Hey guys, so I have no idea where I currently am. I hope no one is going to steal me, but it's a very quiet road. It should bring me to some Victorian escapade, I think. So yeah, let's walk and let's have a look of where I finally come. Guys, this is where I came. I see it's a lot of lovely, beautiful houses. Honestly, I don't know if it's like private property. Might be private property, so I might have to leave. But look at this beautiful house. So just in case Google Maps brought me here. <laughs> so yeah, I think somebody lives in this house. I don't know. Like from one hand looks like it's someone lives here, but from the other hand looks like not really. So I don't know. I don't know what to say. I hope nothing happens to me. Oh, imagine somebody catches me. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I got so scared. Do you see me there in the wind in the window? It's my reflection. Oh my god, I saw myself and I was like, oh my god, somebody's there. <laughs> oh my god, I got so scared. But look at this. Guys, something very strange. I'm I'm a bit afraid to be honest. But, my god, this house looks impressive. So, some local houses as well. They seem to be not very small, pretty big. Because I was in Carlo, for example, and... Oh, look at this beauty. I was in Carlo and everything was so small and old, but in Mullingar everything seems to be a bit newer a bit nicer and a bit bigger so I thought that Mullingar is a much smaller town but do you know what it's actually big enough sorry just a car driving so it's actually very very big not very big you know but like I it's much bigger than I expected so I'm walking 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 and there are still loads of places to see plenty of streets compared to for example Carlo I used to walk in Carlo and still come to the same central street everything was like so small but Mullingar seems to be very big lovely I can see loads of little shops probably loads of local companies 
there is even the Mullingar business hub so I was surprised to see this so yeah let's go to that place I have no idea what that is but it looks impressive so let's get closer and have a look